Hello there, this is Fred Dog 2325 and I've been a little bored lately. I thought, hey, let's make a Minecraft video. So, I'm making a Minecraft video. Um, oh, give me a second here. I'm going to show you my method and how to survive your first night of Minecraft legitly without mods. Now this is this is gonna be a little tough for me because as you can see I'm tapping the O button and I have absolutely no mods. Fly, no fly, no x-ray, no nothing. I'm going all out on this one. Some of the things you're gonna need are wood, which is main, very main source. Hold on chop down this tree. Ooh, this is a big tree. Alright. Oh. Alrighty then. So now, one good thing you're going to want, it would be food. Mainly because with this new update, yeah. With this new update, you need food to survive, otherwise you go hungry. So that's just a new, that's one of the new things you might want to get. Come here, you little piggy. Gosh, this takes forever. There we go. Alright, we got three pork. Woohoo! So a party. Just want to remind you, if you double tap W, your guy runs. Which is pretty helpful. Alright. So I'm running here, but the only problem about running, remember, is, is it uses up some of your... Um, some of your, uh, shoot, hunger. So it makes you a little more hungry when you run. So now, I'm going to look for, alright, that looks pretty cool up there. I'm going to go up there, see where that little cross thing is up there? But, first thing you're going to want to do is when you get to the mountainside, you're going to want to look for coal, alright? And then you're going to want to make all those wooden planks. Make yourself a little crafting, oh, poop. Make yourself a little crafting table like so. And place that bad boy. Get yourself some sticks. Make yourself a pickaxe. Ready to roll. Get yourself some uh get yourself some coal, because coal is very essential for surviving and also having it inside a house. Because without coal, your house gets dark, and when your house gets dark, it's very, very scary. Because when it's scary, well, when it's dark, creepers and all that kind of crap spawn in the dark, which makes it very, very scary. So, you want to mine some coal also. The coal is good for smelting stuff in the furnace, like cooking. So we can smelt our, um, or we can cook our pork, and we can also smelt iron ore in the future, which is pretty hef, well needed, I should say. So now I have myself 15, 17 pieces of coal. Pick up my crafting table here. So now I'm thinking I'm going to run over here. And let's see here how to get up there. Hmm. Hold on, give me a second. I'm plotting this out here. Alright. There we go. And I have some nice little stair steps up here. More cool. Ooh. Yeah, like I said, you can find coal straight down, but the easiest way is to find coal in the side of a mountain. Because, of course, it's visible and you don't need to waste your um, your pickaxe looking for it. Oh, another good thing to do is don't use your pickaxe all up on the uh, coal at first. You want to make sure you get some uh, cobblestone, then you can make yourself a cobblestone pickaxe. Because if you've noticed, if you look at my health on my uh, wooden pickaxe, it doesn't last very long. 
So we got seven cobblestone. That should be, hmm, it'll be all right. I mean, I'll get about eleven. There we go. All right. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna want to make my house in here. I don't know. It's just cool. It looks like a cool structure, and it looks like it'd be easy to find if I die. But I'm going to do my best not to die, because this is a how to survive. <laughs> Oh, switch out of your pickaxe. Alright, I've gotten a little far. Um, a good thing to do is to put... Well, this is my opinion. Oh, more coal. Oh, goody. A good thing to do is to put your crafting table in the ground. Therefore, you don't have to move it when you decide to expand. Unless you really know that your uh, diameter, or whatever you want to call it, of your perimeter of your house is permanently set. Same with torches. When you first start off, place the torches on the ground. I mean, you can always pick them up later. No big deal. Um, now, since I've, I'm dealing with a lot of dirt, I'll make myself a shovel. And then I'm also going to make myself a cobblestone pickaxe. So, stone pickaxe and then stone shovel. Alright. Shovels are great for getting rid of dirt. And also gravel and sand. Like I said, I got a big area to clear out of dirt here. No, it's, it's this is a pretty cool world. If you guys decide you want the world seed, oh my axe broke. Anyways, oh oops, that was my wooden. If you guys decide you want the world seed, just leave a thing in the uh, comments, and I'll be happy to give you the world seed. But as you can see, there's a much faster difference in mining, and the stamina of my pickaxe is. A lot better. Well, basically one hit. Well, not not quite a one hit. Alright. So now, I'm going to make myself... Uh, uh, what's it called? An axe. Because I want to go get some more wood before nightfall. Because if you haven't come to the conclusion, wood is a very needed resource... Because everything I've made so far has, in the, has at least included some wood. So, you know, double tap W again. Get you sprinting. As you can see, the wood is a lot faster to chop. The axe really makes a difference. See my method here? You leave one at the bottom, that way it gives you a little boost to get the very last one at the top, so we don't have to build underneath you. I mean, for these tall trees, it's not going to work with all of them, sadly. But it'll help with most of them. Ah, Yeah. Now, what is an ingenious idea would be to... See that thing up here? This is called a sapling. I just picked up. Now what this sapling does... Oh, there's a bunch more over there, too. Woohoo! Alright, what these saplings do is you place them in the grass and you get yourself some... Uh, poop. Uh, trees. So you can basically plant your own trees. So you can have your trees a lot closer to your house. Like, I could even plant my trees up in the mountain. So I wouldn't have to come all the way down, which would be a nice feature. I should probably look into. So you can basically chop down the leaves, or if you want, you can just wait and they'll naturally despawn, as you can see. It starts to despawn because the leaves don't really live without branches, which is realistic. Well, mostly. Right, we'll get this one last tree. And then... Alright. 
So this is called sapling. There's different types of saplings. Different types of saplings, of course, grow different types of trees. This is the more darker sapling. It comes with a very tall tree. And this one right here is just about, well, the normal generic type of tree that you normally would see in Minecraft. Uh, these little things, you break these things and they give you seeds. What seeds do is, is they allow you to grow stuff like wheat and that's going to be very handy if you decide to make yourself a garden and if you make yourself a garden of course you get food which as you can see if you look at my health meter would be very nice but thankfully I have the three pork which I got from the pig alright it's getting pretty dark I'll get to these last two alright so as you can see the sun has going down and when the sun goes down, it means get the heck back to your base. Alright, so I'm going to cover out tits. Alright. Alright. Now you're going to gonna go up to your house. Pull a little torch out. Ooh, it's very bright. Alright. Pop one out there. Oh, forgot something. Plant a couple. Yeah, you hear the cow? It's an angry little cow. You know, playing a couple saplings. I don't know. These probably won't grow. Because you need the trees. Oh, poop. You need the trees. Give them a certain space. But the more the space, the better. But hey, unlimited space. And yeah. Hold on one second. So now I'm expanding my area out a little more. Give myself um, some more working room, I suppose. Now, a luxury to have, if you have plenty of wood, which I do, would be a door. Doors are very nice. All right, make a door. Just two rows of the three, and you have yourself a wooden door. yippee ki -yay. Alright, so just place the door. Place the thing over there. You are protected. Hold on. Options, yeah. See, difficulty is normal. We're all good. So now that we have our good space, let me expand a little bit more. It's like a little living room, you know. Good stuff. Alright. Place torch over there and over there. One more over there. Pop that one up. Put that right there. Alright. So now we have hmm, kind of a alright headquarters. Let's make ourselves a chest. Very, very, very good idea if you decide to venture out and try and get kill the monsters. Pop your stuff in there. You don't think you're really going to use much. But now, a good essential thing to know how to do new is a furnace. Furnaces are sometimes mistaken by being made out of iron, but they're really made out of cobblestone. You make them in the same shape as you make. Uh, you make a name shape as you make a chest, except you use cobblestone. Alright, so place furnace, and then you put your, you can use wood, uh, charcoal, coal, and then also a bucket of lava, but it consumes your iron bucket if you use the bucket. But the bucket lasts for about a hundred blocks of smelting, so that's... Yeah,